more on YouTube. My brothers and sisters out there. <clears throat> um, maybe a little shout out to some of them brothers and sisters out there in YouTube land that kind of went against me a little bit there. Um, Saved by Grace. Christina. Don't understand that deal. But you just basically attacked me and said I was being such a mean, mean man for what I was doing. You know, and then there's the seal by the blood. I mean, you barely speak to me because I'm such a mean guy for what I've been doing. And Jennifer Fraser, for whatever reason, I mean, you've got me blocked. Um, I've left a few very loving, supportive comments and wondered why, but then a friend of mine says, well, I'm looking at the comments right now and none of your comments are there. Alright, okay. Um, so basically, anyone who has a little different opinion than yours or something, I guess, just walk them, uh, call them down, condemn them, whatever. No, I get that. You guys that were all on me about calling... Testing the Spirit in Sarah Bradley. Uh, Sarah Bradley, Minister of Christ. Sarah Bradley, one saved. Or no, what is it? One sealed, always sealed. Or once saved, always saved. Or sealed by the blood. Or saved by the grace. She's got all these names. This Sarah Bradley. Yes, you guys know who I'm talking about. And when I tested the Spirit on this lady, and I've never ever seen anyone that's tested the Spirit on Sarah Bradley and got any kind of a scriptural response from her. Simply, we're called demonic dividers of the body of Christ. And then she says, Do ye believe? Amen? Abba Father told me they would come against me like this. Did he? I don't know someone else's spirit for sure um, we are told to test the spirit though and when somebody flat out like she doesn't even try to sneak around it a little bit I'm not saying a time or a date she said yesterday at noon or midnight because she said both noon midnight she gets mixed up on her little prophecies but um both of those are long past, Sarah. And I believe, yeah, I really believe you owe an apology to your followers. I don't care. You don't need to apologize to me. You need to apologize to your followers for pretending that you're a prophet. It's okay to preach the Bible. And it's okay to say, hey, you know what, like these prophets have said these things and the signs are here. And because, I mean, the signs are here. I actually thought you might have been right for a moment there. Except you've made mistakes in the past. And prophets don't guess. They had a vision from God. Not like you're... Oh, he's wearing the red tie. Oh, Trump's got the red tie. Oh. Sarah, I want to I want to point you out something just a small little fact, okay, about Donald Trump. Mostly he wears a red tie, and when he doesn't, he wears a blue tie. The only variation you'll get is sometimes there's a stripe or something. It's red or blue. That's pretty much Donald Trump. So and mostly red. A lot of the times it's red. So, to say, oh, he wore the red dye, just like my vision. All right. All right. Oh, and the last trump? You're saying how there's the difference between the last trump and the last trumpet? King James Version is the only one I found that says the last trump. Usually it's the last trumpet, when the last trumpet is sounded. <clears throat> the shofar. I could be mistaken. I've made mistakes. But my point being, you need to stop. You need to stop. 
your followers you have almost 900 on Facebook I don't know how people oh it's too bad you weren't right this time but next time it'll be okay sis love ya send checks now PayPal link back up now PayPal me at Sarah Bradley me at Sarah Bradley it's all about you Sarah this isn't if you want a channel about all about Sarah Bradley, then just do that. Then people will still pay you, man. There's people out there who'll pay you for anything. But to use the Lord's name like that, to make yourself money, when you got on Facebook, and your mom's house is freaking nice, man. You could fit three of my houses in there. And it's got a brand new update, as you called it. It's a, it's called a remodel on the out exterior remodel. Didn't look like new doors, but looks like they put siding and soft and fascia and stuff, maybe right. But, but you guys are so hurting that you can't afford toilet paper. But you're living in a house that just got a remodel. Nothing makes sense, Sarah. Nothing. None of your stories. Okay? The whole abused, got out of this horrible abusive relationship. You put up a picture of some young girl that's been beaten stupid. When I've never seen a picture of you all beat up or bruised or any of that stuff. You haven't put that kind of evidence out. All you do is make a lot of claims about this other man. Who, if I was him, would probably be suing you. Like... You've said a lot of nasty things about that man. Call him everything. Call him a child abuser, everything. That's a lot to say about somebody, just so you can get PayPal. Oh, I kicked him out now, I need toilet paper. Why, he took the toilet paper with him? He was living in that house with you guys. Your mom kicked him out, maybe. We don't know. How are we supposed to believe you, Sarah? You tell funny stories. But the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, verses 1 and 4. I don't know how many times a person can point out that it's 1 through 4, Sarah. It's 1, 2, 3, and 4, Sarah. Not verses 1 and 4, Sarah. And this has now come to pass, Sarah. What has come to pass, Sarah, is that you claim to be a prophet of God Almighty. And your prophecies, you gave a time and a date for the end of the world, basically, for our rapture time. And for the great tribulation to begin. <clears throat> that was yesterday. I don't see you on there today. Where are you today? I saw you yesterday going, oh... Social media is going to blow up over this. They're going to pick on me now because <laughs> I was wrong. That's okay. That's okay. I don't hold it against you. Maybe you thought all of that was real. Okay. Maybe you really thought you were having prophetic visions. I don't know. But they were wrong. Which means you're not a prophet. So you need to get on social media, on your Facebook page and on YouTube and apologize to your followers okay you're being a false prophet I don't know if you understand what that means but you Sarah need to repent look it up you need to repent Sarah change your thinking That's all I got for you anyway. Um, for some of you sisters in Christ that have come against me for calling, uh, testing her spirit and not believing everything, we didn't fly yesterday. Hopefully we fly soon. The world's getting tough. All right. I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. By the way, test the spirits.